Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Dr. Fodor Kalin, and I'm uh, from Romania. <coughs> First of all, I want to show you some pictures from Romania. Uh, this is uh, Transylvania, <coughs> uh, north of uh, my country. And uh, this is uh, Bran Castle, where uh, Dracula movie was made. So uh, this is the character. Uh, his name, Vlad the Third Dracula. And uh, if you see in uh, these pictures, I think it was the first uh, man who made uh, uh, big cortical implants. <laughs> so, uh, about uh, segments <laughs> and uh, uh, big cortical engagement. Uh, we have a uh, few uh, possibility. First, uh, if uh, when we use only elastic uh, design implants, which are uh, BCS implants, um, first after after placement, uh, these implants uh, most of all they are elastic. Uh, they are engaged into the second uh, cortical through fixations, and uh, we can achieve uh, mineralization after a while. Uh, when uh, the mobile, uh, the slide mo mo mobility of implant, uh, which are transform uh, transforming into the rigid one. <clears throat> the aim of uh, the, treat uh, the treatment uh, are to, ha to have a, a masticatory polygon and to set the implants into the strategic uh, positions. And uh, these strate strategic positions are uh, the canine bypass, the pterogate implants, and also implants under different uh, type of angulations. <clears throat> we have uh, here a segment into a very uh, atrophy uh, bone. Uh, in this case, <coughs> I used one of the implants which uh, made the uh, canine bypass, and uh, <coughs> another one which is uh, into the pterygoid plate, and another two implants which are in different directions. Uh, you see here, uh, there are two different pictures. This one is one year after. Uh, if you can see, the bone was changing, was improved into the uh, area of pterygoid uh, plate. And uh, also, uh, this uh, septum, uh, it's much bigger in dimension and uh, uh, much uh, dense. Uh, the bone, besides of uh, this second implants, uh, it's gross. And uh, it was very interesting to see also this part of the bone, which is trabecular bone, uh, which becomes uh, more dense. Uh, the canine by bypassing uh, is starting from uh, the, fir the, primal the first premolar uh, area. It goes between the root and the uh, palatal bone, and it's in, it is engaged here into the nasal floor. Okay, here we have the canal bypassing implant, and here we have the pterygoid implant. Uh, the aim of the treatment are occlusal and masticatory contacts inside the polygon. Uh, in this case, it was uh, very useful to have this implant a little bit uh, more vestibular, so the polygon was increased in dimensions. And this is the final results. Uh, okay, uh, sometimes it's happening also like this. Uh, it was not made in, the, in this purpose. Uh, this was the first implant which I put it inside. And uh, so all the bone, which was distally, uh, was difficult to, uh, to use it. Uh, here, uh, the distal part of the bone was wide, so it uh, was possible to put one more uh, implant into the uh, pterygoid plate. Uh, of course, here yes, was sufficient bone, it was not need to make uh, some bypassing. Uh, it's better to take out the last implant, the pterygoid one, out of occlusion and to have the equal masticatory uh, surfaces on both sides. Of course, if you have uh, sufficient...